Okay, before we get into this video really quickly, I wanted to say I'm going to be censoring every single time I swear. Um, there's a lot of swear words in this, including the C word quite a bit. You'll uh, realize why once we get into it. Um, mainly at the ref. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's there's like a, like I'm swearing every five seconds. So don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> but yeah, um, swear words are going to be censored. Enjoy the video. Hi, yo then guys, and welcome back to another video. Now today, oh, we have some talking to do on the topic of Chelsea versus Arsenal, the FA Cup final. What a shit show. Now, I don't want to be the classic Chelsea fan that just goes, oh, this was wrong, this was against us, that was against us. You know what? Fair play to Arsenal. So first things first, um, Kepa didn't start, which is a massive statement, considering that we are looking for Oblak, and Kepa's probably not going to be at the club for next season. Now, I will just say Oblak is going to be 110 million because it means that we'd have to activate his release clause because Atletico Madrid do not want to sell him. So yeah, we played Willy Caballero in goal, and he made one save. Um, yeah. It was just that kind of game, to be fair. Our defenders? Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Um, Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in. Zuma had an alright-ish game. I don't know. He was there most of the time. Rudiger, oh god. Rudiger, I don't, I don't want to... I, I, I just don't know if I can talk about him. I mean, the mistake that he made for the second goal... Oh, yeah, I, I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. I, I never feel comfortable when Rudiger's on the ball. Have you seen the way he passes? It just doesn't look like he knows how to pass. And the one pass that he makes, it's to the f keeper every time. It's actually infuriating. For some reason, our defensive line was like 30 yards from our goal. Or from our box, even, I'd say 30 yards. Christensen was in their box when we were attacking. And it wasn't from a set piece. I, I was absolutely baffled at what was going on. Essentially, all they had to do was kept pinging balls over our defense into the nicely... But about 10, 15 yards worth of space for Aubameyang to run into. Now, when your centre-backs aren't exactly the quickest players in the league, I don't know why our defensive line is that high up when Aubameyang probably is one of the quickest, if not the quickest player in the league. I mean, he's most certainly the quickest striker in the league. So why are we giving him that much room to run onto them through balls when David Luiz is in centre-back, been able to ping him? It, it baffles me. Now, the goal we scored was decent. Pulisic is incredible. Like, we don't deserve that man. We really, really don't. It was a nice bit of play. Pulisic just dinks it over, puts a little bit of air on the ball and just whacks it in the left-hand corner. And it was a nice-looking goal. But then things just fell apart. We seemed to take our foot off the gas completely until later on in the second half. We gave away a penalty. Um... Yeah, I think it was a little bit poor from Azpilicueta, to be honest. Some people say it wasn't a pen. I think it definitely was. I do feel sorry for Azpilicueta, but at the end of the day, if you feel contact in the box nowadays, you're going to go down. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to talk about the ref just yet. Um, it was a penalty. It was a great technique from Aubameyang. Aubameyang is an incredible player, and if Arsenal don't manage to keep him for next season, it's going to be near enough impossible to replace him. So, obviously, Azpilicueta, um, ah, oh, this, this is really sh**. Azpilicueta, I don't know what he's actually done. Um, it might be somewhere. I'm going to have a quick look. So, by the looks of it, it was just a hamstring injury. Um, he's going to be missing the Champions League by the looks of it. And the same with Pulisic as well. Pulisic ended up going on an incredible run. And this is where it really f sucked. This is where the gods were f***ing looking down on us and going, not today, mate. Not today, Chelsea. You are not winning this game. I'm sorry. You're not winning it. Because if he hadn't f***ed his hamstring, he most likely would have scored there. And by the looks of it, he f***ed the shot and then went down. But after a replay, as he was running, he just felt it go and was like slowing down and just had to shoot. It, it, it f***ing sucks. It really f***ing sucks. Two hamstring injuries, really? Like, what? what is our physio doing? <laughs> What's going on? And while I'm on the whole injury thing, if that wasn't enough, two hamstring injuries, then this doesn't really affect us anymore, but 
Pedro went down with an injury and was taken off on oxygen. Great. He was stretched off. Uh, I think it was something to do with his shoulder he got pushed into. Referee, I'm not going to talk about just yet. Um, stupid little f***. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll move on. We're going to talk about the second goal. So, uh, this, is this really sucks. This really sucks. So, Ceballos won the ball. Bellerin comes running out. Rudiger is on the f I don't know. He's like 10 yards. Of no, not even. I'd, I'd genuinely say like five yards away from the halfway line at this point. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Rudiger, our centre-back, is five yards away from Arsenal's half. Cool. Rudiger runs in. Completely f*** the tackle. Right? Christensen makes an incredible tackle and gets injured and is on the floor. It then falls to Lacazette. We have f***ing Zuma on one guy, Marcus Alonso on Lacazette, and Aubameyang's just sat there on his own, just about to run into the ball. Just lovely. Passes it into Aubameyang. Zuma tries to stand him up. Marks his right-hand side. Aubameyang goes onto his left, and Rudiger is... Where? Where's Rudiger? Oh, that's right. He's marking... Oh, my. He's marking the man that Marcus Alonso's marking. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And Aubameyang just chips it over the goalkeeper. Rudiger, you're sh buddy boy. You're f I mean, can I also just say that Jorginho is s*** as well? Because he just f***ing gives up. He puts a foot out and then just gives up. I want that man gone. Like, I f***ing hate Jorginho. F Frank insists on bringing him on. What does he do for the club? Slows down play. Great. When we need that, sure, amazing. But uh, stop bringing him in in every single game, especially games when we need to play quick football. It's f***ing infuriating. But yeah, so that was 2-1. F***ing brilliant, that is. Absolutely brilliant. So next, we have the... Oh, this, this is... Right, this is where I'm actually going to get off, okay? This is where I'm going to get pissed off. Um, sure, we're, we're, we were okay? And this isn't saying that Arsenal deserved to lose. This isn't just saying that they got, like, they got really, really lucky. Because they were good goals, okay? Fair play to them. Um... But we need to have a little word about the ref, okay? Um, this referee, after that game, deserves to be looking in the paper for a new job. Just that, as simple as that. So Xhaka has the ball, okay? Kovacic is already booked at this point, okay? And fair play. He deserved the yellow card, right? This, I don't know. I really don't know. I... So Ceballos comes over and goes, ref, send him off. Please send him off. Second yellow. And he gets a yellow card for that. And everyone goes, nice. Because to be honest, it wasn't even a foul, mate. Right? I don't, I don't even think it was a foul. When you look at what actually happened, we'll see. So he gives Ceballos a yellow card and we're like, okay, cool. Thank you, referee. I love that. Right? So I just want to add, people on Twitter have been saying, like, where's VAR for the second yellow? Um, it's a rule in football that you can't use VAR for a yellow card or a second yellow card leading to a red. Um, it's, it's just a rule. I don't know why. But yeah, so that's why I wasn't on about VAR not being used for the foul um, or the red card for Kovacic. Let's get the photo up. His foot was under Xhaka's. He was the one that got stepped on. F***ing hell, ref. Now, once again, Arsenal deserve to win it, okay? I'm not saying this would change the game. Cool. Moving on to the next, um... F***ing... Oh, this... Mm -hmm. I love how in the highlights that I've just checked, BT Sport decided not to put in the uh, accidental handball from the goalkeeper. And for those of you that say handball by the keeper, you don't know anything, lad. He he handled the ball outside the box. No VAR check, though. Right, so with this one, once again, I'm going to put up a picture, okay? This picture right here, what, shows that it's... I mean, it, it, looks, it looks like it's outside of the box, which the goalkeeper can't f do, right? Now, hey, we could have gone and checked, and it was on the line. And I would have been like, you know what? That's absolutely fine. Okay, that, that's cool. You have VAR. What are you doing, you f moron? Check your f I don't get it. I really don't get You have resources. Use them, you thick 
I'm sorry, I've used that word so many times, but I f hate this ref. He's an He's an actual At the end of the day, Arsenal have had things go against them um, when they shouldn't have. And it's part of football. It's just really, really annoying when the FA and just FIFA have spent so much on getting VAR and then they don't use it. Because that is clearly something that needs to be checked. It's, it's really infuriating. Um, and when two of those things happen and go against you, then it's just like, I don't know. I, it's just not meant to be. It's not meant to be. We've had so many other things go wrong as well. Um, Pedro could have potentially had a penalty. Once again, not checked. Um, we should have had a free kick outside of the box. Once again, <laughs> not checked. Um, yeah. The one thing I've learned, Anthony Taylor's a <laughs> He's a referee. But yeah, um, I hope Arsenal allowed Anthony Taylor to go back and um, celebrate with a trophy. Um, yeah, wow. He's... he's must be an Arsenal fan. <laughs> but now, as I said at the beginning of the video, um, fair play to Arsenal. You deserve the win. Enjoy the FA Cup trophy. I do want to do a um, a Chelsea transfer rumour kind of video. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, I we, we need some good players, especially in the defence. Because that's atrocious. <laughs> Overall, I'm very, very happy with how Lampard has done. Um... He has had the sale of Eden Hazard. He can't buy anybody, or he couldn't buy anybody. And yet, he still managed Champions League football and the FA Cup final with a team of youngsters, essentially. I mean, we've had William, we've had Pedro, we've had Giroud, but we've also had Tammy Abraham. We've had Tamori. I, I know he hasn't really played much. We've had um, a goalkeeper. <laughs> um, we've had Mason Mount. Billy Gilmore, who's been starting. We've had Loftus-Cheek, hudson Adoy. Like, I'm really proud. I'm really happy with what Lampard has done. And he's shown that he is out to improve with two amazing signatures of Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner. I'm very, very excited. I loved the memes of when Werner was on his phone after the second goal. He's like texting Werner. Um, uh, Ziek, like we need, we need out. We we need out of this club. Can 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 we burn the contracts? Can we do something? <laughs> but no, anyway, that is where we're gonna end the video. Once again, congrats, Arsenal. F you deserved it. But yeah, on to um the 20, 2020 21 season. As I did say though, guys, this is indeed where we're going to end this video. If you did enjoy it, then please smash the like button. Comment all this down below. Subscribe. Share the video around. I'd love to get in a little community. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. And peace.